Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for coming to check out my Transformational Thursday video. I did lose some weight. I did accomplish most of my goals and I did find a huge bug just now in my bathroom. <laughs> okay guys, let's start off with the weight loss. So I lost 2.6 pounds today. I mean, not today, this week. Um, and I'm feeling good. When I woke up this morning, I knew I had lost weight. Like I could just feel it. I could feel it in my body. I could feel it. I just knew it. So um, again, it just proves that eating less and exercising more, you really can lose weight. <laughs> um, I've been continuing to use my Fitbit and I've been continuing to eat less. So I'm not on any specific plan still. I have been tracking on the um, Weight Watcher Point Plus fake app. Uh, not diligently, but I have been tracking to some degree and that's been okay. Um, and I've been eating less and exercising more. And again, living down in Florida, I am much more mobile, I'm much more active. I am just kind of out and about all the time. So that makes me feel good. My knees are stronger, for sure. Like, I'm so excited about that, my knees are getting stronger and stronger and again I just feel like I'm making some big accomplishments in my life and so despite the kind of crazy circumstances that we're finding ourselves in right now um, we're doing okay so part of my transformation is um, I'm gonna be looking for a job I mean I am looking for a job and so trying to figure out what type of job fits with me what type of job can I best serve in and work in and serve the community and I did social work slash parenting um, classes home visitation for 15 years and um, I did love it for the most part so I'm going to be kind of looking into that again looking into working at pregnancy centers or uh, adoption centers adoption is close to my heart obviously we've adopted our three children and adoption is very dear to me so anyway Lots going on. This time next week, I will be 40 years old. My birthday is next Wednesday. Wow. 40. <laughs> I'm okay with it. I'm okay with turning 40. I feel good. Feel better anyway. And 40 is just a number. My encouragement to you guys today is to... Embrace life, do not live in fear, and whatever curveballs life throws you, to just make life happen anyway. To just have a positive attitude anyway. And, and don't live in fear. So that's what I'm trying to tell myself today as, I, as my husband and I and my kids, we're continuing to go through kind of a crazy circumstance right now. We're thankful, we're thankful for sunny Florida, we're thankful for the palm trees and the beaches. We're thankful for this big, beautiful apartment and living every day in gratitude. Tomorrow's not promised to any of us. So today I'm going to be thankful for what I have instead of what I don't have. And I'm going to be thankful for my life because life is very short. So I'm going to get, um, get my notebook out and talk about my accomplishments and my goals. I wanted to show you this little notebook that I got at the Target Dollar Spot. It's small, you know, it's the size of my hand. It's not a big notebook, it's a small one. Um, and so inside you can have, um, there's the calendars, there's, you know, the monthly calendars, and there's this little pocket. And then there's lists and notes, lists and notes. So this is what I'm gonna use to track my goals and my accomplishments. So um, as you can see, that was week set 317, week 324. And now I'm going to be writing my accomplishments from this past week and my new goals for the week, which are pretty much going to mirror last week's goals of losing two more pounds, use my Fitbit every day, the Weight Watcher Point Plus app every day, and um, drink more water. I also want to show you guys that um, you all have inspired me to kind of do a planning, a decorating of a planner scenario. Yep, it's with highlighters and silly stickers. But um, 
it does motivate me to look at my calendar every single day and to have to-do lists and to have things I want to accomplish. So I have my daily cleaning schedule that I've been sticking to first thing in the morning. Um, for me, if I don't have a schedule, you guys, I just kind of, I'm such a free spirit. I just do whatever I want to do. Not okay. So like I just said, part of me being a free spirit is that I kind of just clean whenever I want to clean. I do whatever I want to do. I just kind of do life. But I'm finding as I get older, then life just passes you by. And for me, schedules is important to getting things accomplished. So um, I have my daily cleaning routine written out. And every single day, I have written out a major thing that needs to be done. Like Mondays is my bathroom day in terms of scrubbing down the tubs. Um, I'm going to wipe down the counters and do a swish swish in the toilet bowl every single day, but the tubs, like, Mondays have to be the day for that. So, anyway guys, that's just part of my transformation, is being a more responsible adult and cleaning things on a more regular basis. Who knows? That was a good thing to transform in one's life, but... <laughs> anyway guys, how do I kill this bug? This bug that's in my bathroom. So for those of you who have lived in Florida, who do live in Florida, what are your suggestions on how to kill big bugs? It's not a spider, thank God, but it is a big bug. My husband just went to the leasing office or whatever to um, find out, like, what do they do about bugs around here? <laughs> ah! You guys, I'm nauseous. Like, I'm not a bug person at all. Most people aren't, but I just feel really nauseous about this big bug in my bathroom. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm gonna wrap it up here. Thank you so much for watching. Again, really proud of myself for losing weight despite bad circumstances happening. And um, I encourage you guys to do the same. No excuses, like move forward. Um, Hoda Kotb, I think I've talked about this before. Hoda from the Today Show. Hoda and Kathy Lee, I just love them so much. And Hoda had breast cancer and she wears this little pink ring that says forward, forward, forward. And like, we just have to keep moving forward. Life throws us really crazy circumstances sometimes and we just have to move forward for the sake of ourselves, for the sake of God, for the sake of our family, for the sake of everybody. Like we just have to, we can't wallow and wither away. That's what I tend to do and a lot of people do. I'm not like, you know. And sometimes you need a pity party for like 10 minutes or a day. So I gave myself a pity party for about two days. Can't do it anymore, you guys. Can't do it. Pity parties are not gonna get you anywhere. They are not going to help you and motivate you to get things done. So yes, pity parties for a season, for a moment, for a time frame, but to not stay there. Staying in pity land will you're gonna waste your life away. And I'm not, I can't waste my life because I'm gonna be 40. <laughs> life is coming up quick on me here. So um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you're all doing well. I wanna thank um, Transform Transforming Melody, Melody who started this with Rhonda at Spanky Cola. Go check out their channels. We've got a bunch of different ladies. Um, Fit to Love Me, we have My Everyday Wife Life, we have Weight Watchers with Heather, we have Jen at Junkin Sale and Life for Me, and I believe that's it. I'm going to link all of their channels below. Go check out their channels. Thank you for watching. God bless you, and I'll catch up with you soon. Bye, guys.